I am that nursing prof and welcome to my channel. I've created this channel for my students and all nursing students really to make nursing school a little bit easier and a little bit more palatable. In today's video, we're going to be programming a kangaroo pump. So the first thing we're going to do is turn our pump on. So it brings us to keep settings or clear settings. We're going to hit clear settings so it brings us to zero and we can start everything from scratch. So you'll see this little thing here, it's blinking. That's because I don't have the tubing in. I'll program it first and then I'll show you how to do the tubing. So the first thing we're going to do is our feed rate. So how many mLs per hour? are they going to be receiving? And this will be in a doctor's order. This is not something you just have to make up on your own. You're going to follow this just like it were a medication in your EMAR. So we're first we're going to hit adjust feed. Can everyone see? There we go. We have feed rate and feed VTBD. That stands for volume to be dispensed. So how much are we giving? So let's say, just as an example, our feed rate is 80. We're going to click on feed rate. And then we're going to click into the tenths place column. See, now we have 10 mLs. We want to go to 80. So we're going to click it till we get to 80. Then enter, and then it'll save that. Then now we want to give our volume to be dispensed. So if we're starting brand new, we might be starting with, you know, a thousand mLs. So let's say a thousand mLs. So I'm going to go into the thousands place and just click it once. And that's a thousand mLs. So now you'll see we have our feed rate and our volume to be dispensed. The next thing we need to do is our flush. We need to program our flush. Now I know you're thinking, I don't see flush anywhere on here. To get back to the home screen, we have to hit done. And now we have our adjust feed where we just did and our adjust flush. Now we can adjust the flush. So we have flush volume and flush interval. The flush volume is the amount in mLs we want to flush and the flush interval is how often, so how many hours. So let's just make it up. Um, doctor will have orders, but let's just make it up for our purposes. Let's say our flush volume is 10. And then we'll hit enter. And our flush interval is every two hours. And then we'll hit it twice to get two hours. Enter. Now we're still in the adjust flush section. So to get back to our home, page, we want to hit done. Now everything's done. We have our feed rate, so how many mLs per hour. We have our flush, so how many mLs of flush we're going to give, how often we're going to give that flush every two hours, and our volume to be dispensed is a thousand. This number here, this zero, that will show up actually once we start giving something to the patient, so it won't stay zero for long. Now I wanted to show you the tubing that we use for this. So there's two parts to it. This part is for the flush, okay? And then this part is for whatever your formula is gonna be. You have to connect this into the pump correctly or the pump will not work. The pump will only recognize it if it's incorrectly. So I wanted to show you this little part of the tubing. Notice how this looks a little bit different than this, right? This is a little bit like stiffer and more rigid and this is more like stretchy and flexible. That's a good thing. So what you'll do is we'll open this, pinch this part here with your fingers, that way you know you're putting it in correctly. Slide it in. The stretchy part goes down, clips up, this little black piece stretches and goes up and then gets caught and then you lock it. If you do it wrong, the pump will know and it won't work. You'll still be able to program it, but it won't let you run it. So now let's turn it on. We'll clear our settings and you'll see 
we don't have that little um, tube thing blinking at us anymore because it's on correctly and it's been installed. Let me install it incorrectly and I'll show you what happens. See how it starts blinking at us? Saying, hey, your tubing's not in, you need to fix it. So it's really important that you have your tubing in and then it's in correctly so the pump can recognize it so that it can work. One more thing we wanna talk about is the volume to be dispensed and how to change it. So for example, let's say I started this pump at 1,000 mLs two hours ago and it's been running at 100 mLs an hour. So what we're going to do is we're gonna multiply 100 times two because it's been two hours and it's going at 100 mLs an hour. So we get 200, which means 200 mLs has already been given to the patient. So if we started with 1,000, we subtract our 200, that means our remaining to give to the patient is 800 mLs. This isn't hard math, it's just something you're like, oh yeah, I have to think about that for a sec. So that's volume to be dispensed, that's how you figure it out. It's not too challenging, but it is still important that you need to know. So I hope this video was helpful. Any questions or comments, let me know. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.